So we have here a Xiaomi Pro 2 scooter with a fault. Comes up with this, beeps along, comes up with number 18 and the spanner and done some research on it. Looks like it could be to do with the hall sensors in the wheel. Now this was purchased, uh, not brand new, but without a front wheel. And this front wheel we bought separately for about 90 quid. And it's only about uh, three or four months old, that wheel. So I'm gonna have to take this apart, the wheel, and uh, see if there's any broken wires in it. Now the best thing to do first is to undo all the screws underneath the foot of the scooter to unplug the uh, motor plugs from the main circuit board. Okay, so you've got the green, yellow, uh, sorry, blue, green and yellow wires in that order and this plug here as well which is what also plugs into the uh, to the main board from the motor so I'll unplug those okay so use the multimeter on these one two three four five data lines and for the hall sensors the blue wire here with the multimeter should match up and give me a signal when I touch the other side of it on this plug but there's no signal through from that blue wire so i would suggest that this is all been wrapped around here and knotted up so i need to take this clip off here to unravel these wires and see where the break in that blue wire is so i've had to cut the actual wires off because they were so twisted down here where this has been spinning around and the wires have got twisted up uh the, the blue wires you know broken and i can't find that break somewhere uh, so i've snipped all the wires off and i resold them on afterwards at the end so I pulled off the sheath that's all around that and that's how twisted these wires are really twisted up tight so there's a break in there somewhere just got to find it okay so I've just uh, untwisted the wires and this blue one came right out when I untwisted it and it was broken obviously up inside this column here so uh, now I know where the break is it's, luckily it's not too far up up here I can just uh, trim it all back and resolder okay so I've cut right back to where the um, twisting was starting to be really bad I've got this little sheath here I've managed to save as well which all goes up moves up and down the, the wire now that I've thread this now back through this hole and back in through where the, where the wire connections are okay so I thread that wire back through the spline through this hole and out this other side just got to trim these wires back now make them bare, solder them up, tin them up a little bit and then I've got to collect these wires as well, these are the main motor wires so that's going to be interesting to do right I'm going to use some of these cable connectors to uh, rejoin the main motor, drive, motor power lines there's, there's blue, green and yellow so I'm going to use these to connect back onto these thicker wires here that's better than stripping all this off and trying to reseal it all again Okay, so I've uh, put these connectors on the end of the wires, ready for me to connect up to these wires here in a few moments, and then I'll put the small data lines onto the hall sensors afterwards. Okay, so I've sold the wire pack on in their corresponding order. Green, red, blue, black, yellow. I've also put the corresponding uh, power lines in their respective places, and tucking them down side to side here. So that's below the hub, and uh, yeah, they're all soldered back onto place. And now to reassemble it all, and also put this little <laughs> thing down in the hole here. Okay, all we'll wired back together again. No error codes, and let's give it a go. And it's going around no problem.